I understand that today um, the Gardaí went up to the house where we uh, asked the sheriff to stay away from and they forcibly entered uh, the premises. I believe they kicked in the door and took um, possession of the house. In the last video, Constitution Hall's sheriff that we put up on YouTube, we specifically put questions to him. But the point is, when I'm saying to you about the sheriff's office, when I go to the courts, the sheriff then puts on his court hat. That's totally that's... illegal and there's no separation of powers there. And we were expecting some sort of response in writing or maybe even a phone call. So the questions we put to them were, um, if a magistrate sits on a bench, what authority has he got to, give, to write his own order? Because in this case, the magistrate is also the sheriff's department and the sheriff. And I keep asking the same question. Yeah. The registrar gives the order. Yes. Then he puts on his sheriff's hat and tells you go and uh, repossess the yeah, home. Exactly, and yeah. you think that's fair that's right, yeah. and lawful. Yeah. No, well, I'm telling you it's, it's not. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking the Gardaí today to uphold common law, which they're sworn to do. And this is not yeah. common law. Now, also under the Constitution, a man's house is inviolable under the Constitution, except as to law. What law did this man break? I'm not saying he broke any law. Right, but then no, why are we here? Oh, he broke no law. The Gardaí here? should represent the Constitution. So we asked the question, is that constitutional? And also a man's home is protected under the Constitution. I'm going to read out now just a couple of the uh, points of the Constitution here to you now. Article 43.10, and this is the literal English translation, says the state guarantees not to interfere by its laws with the personal rights of any citizen and it further guarantees to defend and assert those rights with its laws insofar as, as it is possible. Also, Gardaí are not uh, employees of private banking companies in this country. They are not. So we asked why the Gardaí were there. They said they were there just to make sure that there was no breach of peace. Now we find that they're supporting people breaking into homes. I understand that. Yes. But the yep. judge at the time yep. was not aware that there's a constitutional yep. challenge being made as to the power of the registrar. Yep. A registrar has only got the um, jurisdiction of something like 36,000 in the circuit court, am I right? Are you telling me this yep. house is worth 36,000 or he hasn't not, stepped out of jurisdiction? I'm, I'm not going to uh, right. put a value on the Of course. Hall. Yeah, well he yep. stepped out of jurisdiction. Yep. I can tell you it's more than yep. 36,000. Well obviously the order was... was uh, Fully okay. well, obvious when, to who? When, to, when the High Court dealt with it. But that doesn't matter. What I'm saying to you is the High Court is not above the Constitution in this country, nor is it above common law. They're commercial courts well, and they've no jurisdiction here. And this is the last article, 40.5. It says, The place of the residence is secure for every citizen and is not permitted to go into forcibly except in accordance with law. And of course, this man has broken no laws. Uh, and we know he is in dispute with his mortgage provider, but that's a dispute with his mortgage provider. Since when did the Gardaí act like this and come and work for the banks as private corporations and forcibly enter into a man's home as if he was a criminal? Just in case anybody thinks the Gardaí were acting under law as the law being the order from a judge or a registrar, I'll read this part of the Constitution, which is 41.1. The state uh, acknowledges that the family is the basic primary group of society according to nature and that it is a moral institution which has inalienable invincible rights which are more ancient and higher than any human statute so the court's order would be known as a human statute and we're saying here that the protection of the family or the family home is higher than that and we've spoken to Gardaí now as people know a number of times and in all times we found them acting professionally that's why I'm absolutely disgusted with what happened today. So I'm just wondering whose orders they're acting under. Um, are they working for the bank while breaking into people's homes? Um, because this is really unconstitutional. Joan Collins uh, this evening in the, in the doll stood up and uh, was outraged by this, um, especially done by the protectors of, of the people, the Gardaí. And um, she, she asked a question, and it's a question I'm asking as well. The only laws that I'm aware of are, have been broken by the banks, and I'm wondering how many bankers uh, had their hall doors kicked in this evening. Who is high enough in the Gardaí to order guardians of the peace to come and break constitutional law? If you believe that the Irish government bailout plan for the end of this month is just not right because it's not really your debt, then it's not too late to act. 
please keep an eye on peopleforeconomicjustice.com and see how you can show your support next week when the group will fight the bailout plans by challenging the government and seeking an injunction at the High Court to halt the bailout. And there's more. If you thought the video Constitution Halts Sheriff was eye-opening, then prepare to be truly enraged and disgusted. Since the making of that first video, Ben Gilroy has become an accidental national hero, but unfortunately, he has also opened the floodgates of cries for help and uncovered a terrifying tsunami of corruption and cover-ups. We can now reveal that Ben and his newly renamed organization, People for Economic Justice, is about to expose an institutional cartel of collective corruption so insidious that it will rock the state to its foundation and most importantly it will educate and empower you the people by giving you the truth we have already begun work on a landmark feature-length documentary that we promise will wake you up no members of People for Economic Justice are being paid fees, nor are the participants or the production crew from RevolutionByDigital.com. That's why we need your help. If you want to help us reveal the truth, then we ask you to kindly donate now what you can towards the completion of this documentary. We really cannot do this without you, so please donate now. Okay.